So, today's video is actually going to be a little different. I had a friend come up to me and said that they had some roll chains that they were looking to get rid of. And I said, you know what? Why not? I'll buy it off of them. They told me that they had no idea what was in the rolls. They just rolled up what they had. And here it is. We have $20 in quarters, 15 in dimes, 4 in nickels, and $3.50 in pennies. So, with that, we're going to be hunting all of these in today's video. Starting with pennies, going to nickels, then dimes, then quarters. Now, you're going to be seeing a couple sheets that I haven't used before. Now, I still don't have a penny sheet because I didn't really think I needed to look for one right now, but I will have it in some upcoming videos, definitely. We have my quarter sheet here where I've updated some of the parts that needed to be. I have a brand new dime sheet that I've made, and I have a nickel sheet that we made, including the Henning nickels. Now, for these rolls, I'm going to be scoring them based off of my score sheets, just to see how much we get and how much if we had roughly a box of these rolls, how much it would be. So, with that, I'll be looking for all my errors. I've got my microscope hooked up, as well as my laptop. I've got all my dumps for there, and I'll get back to you with any finds. So, opening these rolls, I don't think that any of these will be considered into our penny pick series, but if I find any that are arguable, that I can make a true argument for, I'll ask you guys what you think, but we're only going to be looking for wheat scents for that. We have a wheat scent reverse ender right there, and it actually has excellent detail, so probably a 50s. Oh, it's a 1945. We sent number one of the hunt. Down the roll a little ways, we actually have a 1944. We sent number two. And right here we have another wheat scent, which I'm guessing is 40s by the reverse. And this one's actually a 56. So three wheat scents, first roll. That's absolutely amazing. Roll number two. And we have only one find that I can see. And it's a 1963 Laureate portrait, young head Canadian. So that's going to go up here in the finds, and I'll bring you back with the next one. Roll three, and we have a reverse facing wheat set. So let's see what it is. And that's a 1946 Philly. Roll four. And we have another wheat scent reverse. So, doesn't look too old, but it's a 1940, our oldest coin of the roll so far. Roll five, and do you see what I found? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a two euro cent. This is the first one I've ever found. That is absolutely Amazing. 2014. So, that's a foreign find. And I'm not going to give you the scores at the end of each denomination. I'm going to do it at the end of the video for you. Just so you know. Well, I'll get back when I have another find. So we found nothing else in those penny rolls. But here's the wrap up. We got that 2014 2 euro cent. We also got that 1963 Young Head, and we got six, sorry, five wheat cents. That's an additional find. A 1940, a 44, a 45, a 46, and a 56, all Philadelphia. Now this extra find is just a misaligned die. It looks like air where the bottom here is very much thicker than the top. If you flip it over, the back's fine. So I don't save those, just wanted to show you. And that is all of the pennies that will be thrown back into rolls. And I'll score this up. I'm not going to tell you till the end. But when I come back, we're going to be looking at nickels. Partway through the first roll of nickels, out popped this 1952. So over here, you can see if that if we have a 52S, 
this is going to be a low mintage below 25 million minted. So let's see in three, two, one. Just a Philly. That's sad. But anyway, a 52 coin. I won't put it in my collection. I keep 49 and before. But we still have part of this roll to go and all of that one. Just a couple coins into roll two. And we have this beauty. So right there is a 1969 San Francisco. So that is going to be worth points. It isn't a key date or low mintage. But I also have some 60s and that 50 pulled to the side because they are worth points on our score sheet. So I'll bring you back with the next one. Literally two coins later, and look at this. A 1968, sorry, San Francisco. Now, he does have some red on his eye, but a pretty nice strike, pretty damaged faces. That is our second San Francisco coin. So, let's hope there's more in this roll if there's two. So, I wanted to pull you back in. We did get a 1957 Philly. It is pretty beat up, but it goes to the fines. And right here, side by side, I just want to show you this. So we have a nice Liberty, but 2000 is basically gone. And here's the other one too. 2000 is basically gone on that one as well. So I'm going to set these aside. And I actually think that these are grease errors because it's just certain spots on the coin. So let's see if we have some more in the rest of this roll. So a recap for the nickels. We got a 52 and 57 Philly, a 62 Philly, a 64 Philly, two 64 Denvers, two 69 Denvers, a 68 and 69 San Francisco, and those two Grease Airs. So that concludes the nickels. Now we're on to the dimes. On roll one, I checked the edges and found no silver, but third coin in, and we have a Philadelphia 2009. That only has 96.5 million minted compared to the roughly a billion for every other mint and year around it. So that is actually going to be a seven point coin on the board. Same roll and about halfway through, we have two 1965s. So we'll weigh them and if they're anywhere near 2.5, there's a possibility they're silver. But they're not. Still, 60s dimes, if I could grab them because they're so small. And those are going to give us two points each. Absolutely amazing. Roll 2 had a 1967, and Roll 3 had a 1965. So, out of those three rolls, we got one 2009 Philly and five 1960 non-silver dimes. So, that's the wrap-up for the rolls. I'm going to tally the points, and then we'll get on to quarters. Four coins into the first roll, and we have a 1968 Denver. So, that's going to get us some points. And right behind it, we have this Drummer Boy quarter. So that's going to be two points. That's going to be one point. And we still have most of the roll to go through. Just down the roll a little more, and we found a Wisconsin, but no high or low leaf. We've pulled out two Wyomings we need to look at, and Edith we need to look at. And right here, we have a 2012 Denali. So, on here, all 2009 to 2012 quarters are low mintage and worth two points except for the Denali quarters. They were actually minted quite higher than any of the 2009 to 2012s. So this one is just a really nice coin, but it's going right back into circulation with more of this roll to search. Almost to the end of roll one, and we have a 2008 bear quarter. Now I figured I'd finish it out with you, and we have, Nothing, 
But speaking of bears, I want to show you something that my mother got me that I think is absolutely hilarious. So right here, we have some Bear Whiz Root Beer. Now this is from the Lake George Soda Works. They are not at all sponsoring this, but she found it, thought it was hilarious, and I just had to show it with you guys. It's a creamy, foamy velvet in your mouth. One heck of a good root beer, as wild as nature. Pure Lake George spring-fed water and bark of wintergreen, bees honey, and raw cane sugar. Chill, pour over ice, alone, or as mixer, plop in a scoop of ice cream. Oh yeah. So I absolutely love this design. I'm keeping this bottle and it is just amazing. So with that, we'll get back to the hunt while I enjoy my Bear Whiz Root Beer. So beginning of roll two, and we're about 10 coins in, and we found another 2008 Bear Quarter. And right behind that, we have a U.S. Virgin Islands 2009 quarter. So, like I said, 2009s are lower mintage, and that is a two-point coin. Now, let's get back to this hunt. Five coins from the end of the second and last quarter roll, and we have another 2009. This time, District of Columbia. Right behind that, it's not going to be worth points, but I just love these 2021 Washington crossing the Delaware quarters. This one's a Philly, and sadly, there's no die chip on the hat or the sword. Now, let's finish this roll. 2014 arches, 96 eagle back, and a 90 eagle back. So, I'm going to check these for errors, bring you back if there are any, and if not, I'll give you a wrap-up of the quarters, and then we'll get into scores for this. So, I put the bear quarters under the scope, and look at this. This one has a die chip between the A and N of land. And then it also has that extra claw error. So that's amazing. And on the second one, we don't have a die chip on the great land. But we do have that extra claw behind some gunk. Absolutely amazing two die chip error coins. Two checked. So those will go up there. And we have plenty more to check. No other errors, so here's the quarter wrap up. We have a 1965, two 1968 Denvers, and a 1967, as well as a Drummer Boy quarter, two 2009s, District of Columbia and U.S. Virgin Islands, and then those two 2008 Alaska Extra Bear Claw errors. So I'll be right back with the points. So, these are the best finds of the rolls, those two 2009s in the quarters, that 2009 in the dimes, the 69 and 68 San Francisco's in the nickels, then my two favorites is the 2014 two Eurocent and the 1963 Younghead Canadian. We also got five wheat cents in the pennies, but they're not needed in any of the albums, so there's no need to make any sort of argument to get them in. So, with that, for the pennies, we got 32 points out of 7 rolls, so that's 264 for a box. If you know, have watched my full box videos or anything, you know that 100 to 150 is an amazing box for me. So, Nichols got 20 points, so that means it would be 500 for a box. That is absolutely crazy. Dimes, we got 17, so that means it would be 283 for a box. And quarters... I got 14 points. That means it would be 350 points for a box. Now, if only it actually was like this in these boxes. Well, with that, it's the end of the video. Time for me to put these coins away and roll those ones up. I'll see you in the next one.